this stays between us. I could use some panties. Why do you... I don't want to talk about it. Oh, I guess we're handing him both of... Oh, God. He's getting a good whiff. No, don't uh, whiff it. Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. Don't Definitely whiff it. Definitely used. All right. The absolute mad bird is back with a little bit more of the old leisure suit Larry. Wet dreams don't dry. So I was reading your comments, and obviously we're back for more because, number one, I really enjoy the first one. Yes, the humor is something that some might say might resonate with my mm, demeanor, you could say. Number two, there was interest from you guys, which is always one of the biggest dry points, obviously. Without you guys, I mean, what's the point of doing this, right? But I also read that there is a remake of the very first game in 2015 or something like that, which is obviously a lot more pleasant to the eyes than the really old first game back in late 80s. So it's something I might look into. And if we do more of this, I might check out later down the line. Since I already started this one, I'm going to continue with this one, though. And I will continue it as long as I keep enjoying it. And you guys are enjoying it as well. But more importantly, it's also going to be a matter of whether the you <laughs> anyway, we have a thermo jug over here. That's still good. Okay, we have picked up a random thermal junk. So many left out here. What is this for? Keeps drinks warm or cold. Oh, really? Is, is that the, the purpose of thermal jugs? I never would have figured it out. Hmm. Just like an Apple store, huh? <laughs> let's head over to the Brainiac Bar, I guess. Hold on. Before we do that, let's see. We have VR. Ah. Cardboard VR. I never got the cardboard Google thing. I never got it. I should look into that. I've heard there's some pretty interesting movies you could watch in 3D. Hello, could you... Uh... Oh yeah, and then? I stripped her completely. Oh, and then? Then I pulled out the pole. Uh -huh. Oh, and then? And then I lowered her onto the pole slowly, very slowly. Uh... I had to grab her with both hands and push deeper and deeper. <sighs> oh man, I hope I can afford an expensive sound system like that someday. No. Oh. No, oh, what do you think they were talking about, you perverts? I've got something chatty in my pants, and I need to get rid of it. What kind of thing? Wait a minute. I told you that no one is... This. ...allowed to see me. Is that a... That's... <gasps> the, the new model? The secret prototype? It's wonderful. Thanks for nothing. And now put me away again before the drool lands on me. Oh, too late. Where? Nordic acids. Uh, where did you... How? Okay, uh, I found it in a pile of crud. Would you like to touch it? How do I get it to shut up? <laughs> it's true. How do I get it to shut up? Don't even think about touching me. That goes for the two of you, too. Now shut up. Tell him to take me to the executive suite. And don't tell anyone. Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay, quick. Um, uh, th 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 there's the elevator back there. Uh, here, here's a single-use access card. And put the prototype away. Okay. By the way, it's also a very um, interesting shape, the elevator you guys got going on back over here. Access card. Let's go. Look at how inconvenient that elevator is. Look at it. What if you have like a really wide head? <laughs> oh, I just realized what happened there. Yeah, just give him the, the wink and the nod. It's all good. Let's go up before I say something else that's uh, inappropriate. This is a catastrophe. How could this happen? We're still investigating, but we received the distress signal and the prototype is on its way here. Who has it? Unknown. I want to know who's responsible. I'll fire them. I'll sue them for damages. BJ. And if it ever happens again, I'm going to close this whole place down. BJ. What? Take it easy. The prototype is on its way here. We have everything ready for the presentation. All that's left is to clarify the final technical details. We're on track. Ah, you're right. I should focus on that. Do you have the prototype? That voice sounds very, very familiar. Is it just me? I can't put my finger on it, but it reminds me of some. Hi, I'm Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer. 
Hello, Larry. I'm Faith. And this, as I'm sure you know, is BJ. Now give me the prototype. Oh, Faith. It's a pleasure to meet you, Larry. It'd be my pleasure to see you finally pull that thing out. Uh, okay, but I have to warn you. It's pretty big. No, I'm not. I'm the thinnest model ever. Oh, you mean the gadget that won't shut up? Nah, <laughs> you would. I thought he had the biggest smile, wasn't it, the thing earlier? Can I uh, trade this thing for a date with you? Ha <laughs> ha, very funny. There was a slight blush. Oh, wait a minute, you're serious. <laughs> <laughs> that That little, like, you know... No reaction. No response. You sold that so well. All right, anyway, who's this guy again? Who's this guy again? You don't know him? No. <laughs> what rock have you been living under? Uh, under the street, actually. Well, this is Bill Jobs, the legendary founder and CEO of Prune Incorporated. And a genius. And, of course, a genius. Mm-hmm. Sounds about right. Really full of himself. What is the blabbermouth thing, anyway? That's our Pi phone. Don't you have one? No. Why would I need a gadget that keeps pestering me all the time? Well, it's a cell phone, a music player, a revolutionary communication device. You understand? It's not three devices, it's one device. So it's schizophrenic, too? Someday, I will kill each and every one of you. What? Ah, thank you. Back in trusted hands at last. We have to check out the prototype. Our chief engineer has to recalibrate it. And if that ever happens to me again, there will be consequences. So, about our date. You certainly are persistent. I'll just take that as a yes. Larry, I don't have time for dates, so I just hook up through Timber. Timber. The dating app we're developing here at Prune. The app that revolutionized everyone's love life. Oh, that. <laughs> right. Great app. Bought two of them right away. And don't take it personally, but I don't think your profile there has enough points. I don't accept any contacts with less than 90 points. What is this, Black Mirror suddenly? Kind of reminiscent of that episode. I forget the name of it, but it was awesome. What a coincidence! I have 90! There are only four men with more than 90 points, and I know them all. Anyway, you've earned a finder's fee, Larry. Here, a voucher for a Pie phone. You can cash it right downstairs in the store. Then you can install Timber. And when I get 90 points, you'll go out with me? Of course, Larry. 90 timber points should be a breeze for a guy like you. Don't go anywhere. This won't take long. Where did they dig up that pathetic loser? I have a voucher for one of those things. Uh, let me see it. Oh, yeah? Looks good. Give him one. Here, a brand new Pi phone. Thanks. Even if I did hear that a new model is going to be released very soon. <laughs> Isn't that like always the issue though? That's why I never know when to buy one. I'm gonna buy one day, but oh, a couple of months, a uh, new one is coming out. Huh? We just added one extra number to that one every single year. Every single year. When do you buy one? I don't know. Is there a woman inside this thing too? Uh oh, there's a. A lot of women in there, if you want. <laughs> I know where he's going. <laughs> I know. Oh, I'm a nerd, too. Imagine that. Wow. This thing must have kilobytes of memory. So, how do I turn it on? Uh, hold the button down. Okay. Welcome to your new Pi phone. Thank you for choosing a prune product. You're welcome, baby. So, uh, how are things? Please state your name. Burt Reynolds? Yo, the stash? You can find me in the phone book under Sexiest Man Alive. Entry not found. Please state correct name. Huh, Larry Laffer. 
Registering Larry Laffer. Setup complete. Well, I was hoping that if we can't do that one, we could have done Burt Reynolds at least, but hey. Okay. One more important thing. Faith said that I should collect points in something called Timber. Ever hear of it? If you want to get anywhere on Timber, you'll need a damn good profile. A good thing we know something about that, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> we can help you set up a profile that really gets the chicks. Great! Uh, but we don't do this for just anyone, so we need you to prove that you're a real player. Oh, you too. Prove to you that I'm a player. <laughs> right. Where's a dark alley? <laughs> Ew, no, not that kind of thing. I'd like some soft toilet paper. They only buy the cheapest here at Prune, and it scratches like hell. And I have neurodermatitis and acne vulgaris on, uh, you know. And what do you want? <laughs> anyway, what? Some underwear. Aren't you wearing any? From a girl, but used. Oh, boy. <laughs> You're oh, telling yeah. me. Of course. Uh, hey, it's not what you think. It's not for me or anything like that. But if you can get those, we'll know you're a real player. <laughs> okay. Oh, lo oh, look at that. My my um inventory change from a notepad to the phone itself. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. All right. So let's get these um rousing players a, a pair of used panties, which apparently it's not for him, obviously. You know, he strikes me as a type of guy who'd be searching for used panties on eBay. Or something. How do you know about that, Valk? I'm just, I've just i heard stories, so I'm gonna say. Oh, wait, before, let's see, What's can I do this now? What's for? He doesn't know what it is. <laughs> That's virtual reality. Ha <laughs> ha, got him. Oh, you mean like your sex life? Sex. Shut up. <laughs> anyway, you can just take a pair of glasses. Every customer gets one for free. Thanks. Yeah, buddy. All right. Oh, the box fell apart. All I did was pick it up. That's what they all say. Can I have another one? Can't you read? Only one set per customer. Can I exchange the broken set for a new one? Unfortunately, I can't do that due to the signs of wear. However, I can offer to have them repaired for you for the one-time low price of $299.99. To avoid further damage, I can foist, <clears throat> I mean, sell you an insurance policy for your device for the bargain price of only $19.99 per month. Duration 96 months, non-transferable. However, the insurance does not apply in the following cases. Water damage, fall damage, software damage, contact damage, damage through use, or any other damage caused by day-to-day -day use of the device. And volcanic eruptions. Okay, I'll think about it. Let's call it Unta. So I'm, I'm hanging out over here at the um, the, the fallow looking building. <laughs> There's apparently a giant squid monster over there too. Why would there not be? Welcome to new lost wages. I guess Hilly Pitts with Kango is led. Oh, I guess we can just pick up another toilet paper right there too, right? Hey, Lefty. What's up, Aaron? The Wi Fi's gone all wonky again. Up, down, up, down. I can't work like this. I've notified the technician. And when is the technician coming? Hmm, can't be much longer. Tell him to get a move on. I announced a show for today. Well, what kind of shows are you having in there, Lefty? And how do I get in on this? Sorry, hold up. Oh, come Lock on. up tight! Lefty? Lefty, I'm hearing some very particular weird noises coming from that back room now. Uh, something I could do for you, Larry? Well... I want in there. Who was that scantily clad redhead? Who was that scantily clad redhead? Who? Erin? Oh, she rents the room upstairs. And what does she do up there? Oh, I don't really know, and it's none of my business. Something with that internet. <gasps> She's the girl from the start of the, you know, where we saw the, the silhouette in the window. Oh, I know what she's doing up there, dude. Okay. What's a Wi-Fi? <laughs> What's a Wi-Fi? The wireless internet. Oh, I should never have let them talk me into that 
special edition router. It was advertised as a Wi-Fi router with integrated home entertainment system. But the music is scratchy, and the connection is pretty erratic. How's the barbarian brew doing? Some people complained about bellyache. Oh, really? What? Really? And now the pipes are broken, too. Ah, uh, I'm kind of an expert when it comes to using my tool. That'd be great. Here's the key to the back room. Uh, but be quiet. Erin lives upstairs. She don't want to be disturbed. Don't worry. I can use my tool quietly, too. Uh, you need to fire up the brewing vat, uh, the, the, the brew kettle again. Pull the lever down, then turn the valve and push the lever up again. But you'll have to fix the pipe first. Something has eaten its way through. Huh. I wonder what. So, um, if you don't mind, let's just go straight, <laughs> straight upstairs. Forget about fixing anything. Hmm. Locked. But I hear noises coming from the room. Those were the noises I heard down there, which sounded very intriguing. Knock, knock. Who's there? Theodore? Theodore? Theodore wasn't open, so I knocked. <laughs> oh, seriously? I've read medieval books. That would have been ashamed of a joke that old. I'll come later. I mean, back. No, thank you. Don't dare knock it until you tried it, Aaron. All right, let's see. Well, if we're looking for used panties, I guess, um, we have a clothes basket here. Lefty's clean laundry. Well... At least he changes his clothes every now and again. Since when does Lefty wear? Oh, they must belong to this Aaron. Surely no one will notice if I take them. Surely. Of course not. But they're fresh. I thought they're supposed to be used. Hm. Oh, what else have we got here? Softener. The pipe's fried. You'd have to change the whole section. Lefty said I had to activate something to get it working again. Lefty said I had to activate... Okay, so we can't do anything right now, apparently, until we fix the pipe first, so... Um, let's see about getting that toilet paper, I suppose. And worry about those panties later. Oh, God. Oh, that sounds bad. Is that the, the girl from the first one? Ah, uh, is there anything I can do to help? Hey, people! How are you? <laughs> Becky? Is that you? I'm not doing so mega hot. More like kind of down. Because the people here are partying so hard, it's killing me. <laughs> but I'll be good to go again in a minute. And then it's back out to the other party peoples. So, if you want to stay tuned to what the nightlife here in the hottest location of New Lost Wages has going on, then click on subscribe below and write in the comments where you're partying hard today. <laughs> yep, that's Becky. Was it you? Did you put something in my drink? No. Oh. He can't even roofie you, he just came out of cryostasis or time travel or something. Of course not. I don't believe it. <laughs> anyway, can you hand me some toilet paper? Can you hand me the toilet paper? Forget it! I need it all myself! But this stays between us. I could use some panties. Why do you... I don't want to talk about it. I'll see what I can find. Why does everyone want me to get them panties? Oh, thanks. Good thing. Uh, was there something else? Uh, PP? The toilet paper, please? Here. Oh, that's just an empty roll. I used it all. And will you please get out of here? I want to get changed. You got an empty toilet roll there, Larry? Is it all used up again? Yep. It's your Strange. barbarian brew. It's killing people. These days, it's always gone in no time at all. Maybe it has something to do with the barbarian brew? Oh, 
You think so? Uh, I stuck to the German beer purity law. Well, to the revised version my great-great-great-grandfather left in Niederelts, who emigrated here from Kassel in 1887, used. And let me tell you, snake oil isn't easy to get these days. Mm, except from Taiwan. Uh, can you do me a favor and put up another roll of toilet paper? Uh, we just got a new shipment. You'll find everything in the back room. Snake oil, number one, sounds fairly terrible for a beer, but... Sporting from Taiwan, maybe not really the best quality, but hey. TP. Oh, sweet. So this is what we need for our homeboy back in Prune. Deck. All right. Part one's done. Now I think all we need is a used panties, right? Wait, wait, this is scratchy though. Oh wait, but we have softener. I think we might have to wash it. Hmm. Or just mix it straight up. No way. Perfect. I call it the butt buffer. Hey, look at that. Oh, it's oh no, what I tell you. What I tell you. Alright. Can we take this cord? Hmm. Did Becky maybe? Yes. She threw her panties in there. Oh no. That's a very good idea. You don't want to touch that. Alright. Oh, I guess we're handing both of them. Oh, God, he's getting a good whiff. No, don't uh, whiff it. Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. Don't Definitely whiff it. Definitely used. Uh, didn't you say you wanted them to prove that I was a real fire? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, of course. I I'm only spelling it to be um, absolutely sure. Oh, and the toilet paper is so soft. Feel it. Awesome. Oh, can I have some of that too? No. Never. You guys are going to help me with this timber thing. Of course. Uh, we'll give you all the hottest tips and you'll get more tail than you can tap in a lifetime. Just leave a few for us too. <laughs> yeah, just uh, give me your Pi phone. Here. You change one single thing in my settings and I will hack your own Pi phone and publish your browser history. <laughs> Okay, uh, so in order for me to set up the perfect profile for you, I need you to answer a few questions. Sure. N name? Larry Laffer. Nickname? Sex Machine, Lounge Lizard, Biggest Dickus, <laughs> Boner Man, and Steve. Oh, these are good. Biggest Dickus. <laughs> That's what they called me in elementary school. Are you Profession? Think so, huh? <laughs> kind of linguist. Programmer, game programmer, boat swing programmer, guy who understands women. Mm, mm -hmm. I'm a cunning linguist. Cunning linguist. I'll just enter IT specialist. I said Chips cunning linguist. Yeah, that's why they're always after us, too. Uh, what's your motto? Uh, your tagline? Hi, it's me. Come here often. I really don't have any <laughs> STD. Are you all natural? I have the key to your heart. And for your vagina. Oh, it's, it's very straightforward. I really don't have any STDs. Uh, that suits you. H? <laughs> I mean, I can't not choose 69, but then you're going to be 69 years old. I don't think that's going to really do it much, you know? Let's do the math. Gotta be 69. Let's stay realistic. Uh, let's say 39. Uh, favorite animal? Pussy. Whoa. My astrologist said that's my power animal. Uh, your personal gender assignment. Man. I'll enter... man? But with the quotation marks. Uh, sexual orientation? Anything with a heartbeat. Um... Uh, okay. I'll enter bisexual. Uh, that will give you the most options on timber. Well, you guys are the pros. Favorite position? 69. Like my age. <laughs> Let's just say Scroonicorn, and that's in right now. Okay, <laughs> now for the profile picture. Show me your good side. Perfect. If that's not an impressive profile, I don't know what is. So what do I do with this timber? Well, hey, if someone matches your profile, that person will be displayed as a suggested contact. And then 
you can swipe the pictures to the left if you don't like them. Or to the right if you like them. Ladies, get ready. Here comes... Larry Laffer! Pie, what's my current score? Five. <laughs> it's a start. Only 85 points left, Faith. Not long until our date. Talk about a nut job. Okay. We just gotta get late 85 times, I don't know, within 24 hours. That's perfectly reasonable. Oh, what do we got here? Timber. Bring it up. Oh, God. What, what did you guys do to me? No wonder he's got a five. He's not gonna ever go from a buy. He's gonna probably go down. Okay, whatever matches here, let's find out. Dick Ryder, 28. Just a small boy in a big city, okay. Dick Ryder, you're a handsome man. But, you know, I just don't swing that way, but you do you. Next. Brooke, 18. That's too dangerous nowadays, you know. Don't trust the 18. You can't trust the 18. You can't do it. Yo, get out of here, Finley. Okay. All right. I even know where you are. Uh, not in a creeper way, obviously, but let's go with Aaron. Okay. Got more. And Becky. Hmm. Well, you know. Lemmetallica. 39. Oh, I see you're, you're like Ozzy Osbourne. You're apparently about to bite the head off a of bat. You know, I, I could get down with that, sure. Hmm. Okay. Little dominatrix action, it's all good. Sure. And Dick Ryder. Gobbler. Excuse me? Who's, who's gobbling? You're the fish or the girl? Don't worry, the gallon to pick is just my... Oh, it tells you where they're at. So, they're at the strip, and Aaron, Aaron's down in lefties. Well, I'm curious about what the strip looks like. Let's just come over here first to see what the new location is. <laughs> well, that's one way to end the episode, I would say. All right, we've gone way over time. I'm going to wrap it up here for this one. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed it. We now have a couple of matches. I think we're probably going to go after Aaron first, maybe. Because we already know where she's at. I also meet these new people, of course, sure. But for now, maybe I'm thinking Aaron. That is, if we do more, that is. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comments. And if there's enough support, there's enough interest, we'll definitely go a bit further. And hopefully, also, um... The old YouTube police is okay with it thus far. I'll catch you guys next time.